Hey there, this is Pat from PJM Scheduling Services. So a user recommended that we do a series on how to build a schedule in P6 from scratch. So I thought it was a great idea. So this is our lesson one for how to build a schedule in, uh, in, in P6 from scratch. So uh, what is that schedule gonna look like? So if I show you here, this is what we're gonna end up building uh, throughout the series. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple schedule, but you'll at least get the mechanics of how, how P6 works and, um, and you'll be able to do something similar or hopefully better on your own, um, but this will at least get, get you started and give you the tools to, to build a schedule in P6. So for this first lesson, uh, I just wanted to show you a general overview of P6. So once you have the software open, um, P6 is broken down into three different areas. So we have this area over here, you'll notice, this area over here, and then this area down here. So this is um, just our general table. So you can see right now I have one project in my database. And so if I was to add projects, they would all be listed under here. If I was to open that project, now this table become, becomes the activities that are inside that project. Uh, and you don't see anything down here, but if I was to add, um, add my details to the bottom. So now the details, uh, we can jump to that section. So if I click on an activity, these various tabs down here under the details section show me information about that specific activity. So if I toggle back to my projects page, so you'll notice I can click here on projects that toggles me back to my projects here. And this is the only one in my database. So I can click on that project and I go down here to my details and I see some project information that's specific to that one project. So it's called, you know, baseline schedule. The ID is BL1. So it has, you know, it's, it's the information up here. Um, you know, there's notebooks, so I can add things like a description of this project. And maybe I can, I can type description, you know, up here uh, about that specific project. So there's a lot of different information about that one project that we can look through in our details tab down here. And then off to the right over here is our Gantt chart. So if I was managing many different projects, this would show me what, uh, the, the, basically the start and finish dates of each individual project. Now, when I open up my project, so um, now this shows me the the Gantt chart of the actual activity over here. Um, so that's the general layout is those three different areas in P6. Um, the other thing that, that I wanted to show you is off to the right over here, this navigation pane over here is what we use to add and delete uh, and copy and paste and cut different, uh, different components of either the, the schedule or the project. Uh, it really depends which table that we're on. Um, I showed you here before we have projects and activities. You'll notice that more tabs will get added if I use this navigation over here. So like if this is the WBS section. So if I wanted to modify the work breakdown structure, which is like these headers inside of a schedule, um, I can click on that and look, a new tab opens here. And then it's the same layout we have our we have our, um, our table here with our WBS sections. We have our Gantt chart here, and then we have our details down below that are specific to each one of these sections. Um, so you'll notice that these add, delete, cut, cut copy, all of that stuff, uh, this navigation over here controls if I wanted to say copy or or add a new section to this WBS, I would just use the add WBS, uh, you know, section over here. And I can indent and outdent. So there's, there's that feature there. This is really, but this pane over here is really to control the content that, that, that we're creating over in our, in our table here. Um, the left navigation here 
is to navigate to the various components that um, I would call them different attributes of a project or an act activity. So for instance, um, in P6, we, uh, we can add resources. So, you know, if you have, um, if you have equipment that you want to assign to an activity, or you have personnel that you want to assign to an activity or costs, uh, things like that, we can assign those to specific activities. And so they have, you know, resource libraries that we can manage those resources. We have um, resource assignments, which simply is the, uh, the resources that are assigned to specific activities. And you'll notice that as I, as I click on these tabs or on these, uh, on these settings here, that new tabs open up to, uh, to navigate, to manage those resources and stuff like that. Um, important to know that at the top of your um, at, at the top of your window here, this shows me that I have BL1 open. So this is it, whatever is up here tells you which project that you have open. You can have multiple projects open at the same time, and it's important to glance up here to see which projects you have open because as you navigate to these different tabs, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reflect whichever projects are open. So if I close all of my projects, you'll say you'll see no project is open and I can navigate back to my projects here, click here. And uh, if when I open that, all of these settings come back to me. So uh, that's that's just a general, a very quick high level overview of, of how P6, you know, of um, I guess the layout of P6. Um, so in our next video, let's go in and actually start building the, uh, the schedule. So, all right, we'll see you later.